What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Let's hop right into it. Okay, so I got the Raiden 4 Makito Remix. This is like a Makito Music Factory. I guess it's like some group of composers. I don't know. If you know anything about that, please let me know in the comments. But I was at this video game store out in Pennsylvania, and there's this old like hippie dude out there that plays shooters, and I was talking to him. And he was like, yeah, you got that new Raiden game? I mean, while you're here, we have it. And I was like, yeah, I ordered that. It's not at my house. He was like, we have it. Uh, I'm not supposed to put it out till tomorrow. But I was like, dude, if you have it, I'll totally cop that if you have that. And uh, so here it is. It was 30 bucks. So <laughs> it made me think of my original copy of Raiden. I got it. Uh, I got this at the White Marshmallow at the GameStop for the Elite Pro price of $20, baby. I don't even know what this thing sells for now. But this game has a soundtrack. Yeah, see that? This game has a soundtrack right there. Even the Raiden 5 that came out on the Switch had a little mini, there's mini discs that you can pop in the CD player. The kids probably don't even know anything about that, but people like me, old farts like me, we love our OSTs. So you know what? If this thing had one of those little mini discs inside of there, I would absolutely love that. But I did see there was a Japanese collector's edition that has a really awesome cover that does have all the music. It's on like multiple CDs or something. I don't know, but let's use a trusty, trusty pocket knife. Slicer open. I'll try to live stream this soon too so you guys can check it out. I don't know if you can download this on the eShop yet or not. I don't know. Oh, come on. Stop being a rascal. Okay. All right. Moment of truth. Raiden 4 Makito Remix. What do we have here? Do we have a manual? Do we have a soundtrack? It feels kind of uh, a little bit light. I don't know why I'm tossing it around. A little bit light for a soundtrack, but let's find out. What do we got here? Manual? Do we? Damn. We ain't got nothing. I mean, we got the cart. We got the game. That's the most important part. I mean, anything less than this would be like a little insert with a download code, which does happen. You know, that, that does suck. They, game companies really need to stop doing that. I do dig this inside art here, but... I do have the Japanese version on the way, so I might give this away. I'm probably going to end up giving this away. It's probably actually going to end up going to Fancy Action now. He got this PS3 game for me called The Shoot, so I can probably see myself ending up trading this because I'm going to have two copies, and if I get that collector's edition, I'm going to end up having three copies, so I'll have two to get rid of. This will probably end up being one of them because if I have the Japanese version and I have the U.S. version, um, for whatever reason, I'm always going to go with the Japanese version. But uh, let's check out some gameplay on this. If you've played Raiden 4 on the Xbox 360, this is the same Raiden 4 that you know and love. But what we have here is anything that ever came out for this game, you have all on one Nintendo Switch cart. So let's talk about that for a minute. So pretty much what we have here is we have Raiden 4, and then we have Raiden 4 with the Overkill DLC, and then we have Raiden 4 with this Makita Music Factory remix, which pretty much is just, I guess, an arranged soundtrack or an additional soundtrack to the game, which you can turn on and off. So keep that in mind. Um, that Overkill DLC, that was, that was kind of a big deal when that came out. I'm pretty sure that added two new levels and three new ships. I'm not quite sure I'm doing this off the top of the dome. I'm actually sitting in my car right now. So if you guys know anything about that, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, so you have the overkill mode with the additional ships and the additional levels. And then you have this Makito Music Factory. I, and I don't know much about that. I'm Me and that Game Collector, we were uh, talking about that. And I was just like, yeah, it's a group of composers out of Japan. That's the only thing I know about it. So if you guys know, and I know some of you guys do because you've commented on my videos. So please let everyone know in the comments more about uh, this, Raiden, this Raiden 4 on the Switch. But I do want to say this. There's a couple of things that I noticed with the game, you know, with the card and while playing it. I'll just point them out. So the first thing is, and I posted this on social media immediately, is that Raiden 5 on the Switch, Raiden 5 that came out on, I think, every system came with a soundtrack, and that's great. I think we all love that. I, I do. I know us YouTubers that actually use the soundtracks in our videos. I know we like that. I like that kind of thing. But you're going to come out with Raiden 4, which is the previous game. Okay, great game on the 360. I love the game. But it's going to be touted to come with this great soundtrack and then not include the soundtrack. That's kind of weird because now you set a standard that, yeah, our game comes with a soundtrack. And it was developed by Moss, published by UFO. So UFO, you know, they did a lot of shovelware on the Wii, right? But I saw them on the Switch do stuff like soundtracks with Raiden 5. So I'm like, okay, you know, UFO, they got it going on right now, man. They're doing soundtracks now. Okay, they give us that little disc on the Switch. It looked like a like a GameCube game, you know, that size disc. 
Uh, I'm sure that the younger generation will probably look at that disc and not even know what to do with it, but it should work on most CD players. I think I've even actually used one of those in my car CD player before. Uh, but anyway, you're going to have this new uh, Raiden 4 with this arranged soundtrack and not include the soundtrack. I don't know. I get it. You know, it's a cost-cutting measure. It's a $30 release, so it is a budget release. I get it, but, I mean, come on, man. There's a Japanese collector's edition. It does have a soundtrack. It's got a, a, a two-disc soundtrack. I think somebody in the comment section pointed that out um, after my live stream. And I might, I might actually get that one because um, I'm kind of I'm vibing on this game for real. So you have Raiden 4, then you have the Raiden 4 Overkill. And so Overkill... What that is, is so after you kill your enemy, you can kind of keep shooting them. And there, there's something you can do to trigger a higher score. I'm, I'm sure there's like Studio Mud Prince. He could probably tell you all about it. Um, you know, that guy, he, uh, he's, he's, pretty, he's pretty good at reviewing scoring systems. As a matter of fact, Studio Mud Prince, to me, is, is specifically on scoring systems. That guy goes in depth on scoring systems for shooter, for shooters more than any other YouTuber or really anyone I've ever seen. So I really appreciate what that dude does for the community because scoring isn't something that I typically look at in a shooter. You know, I, maybe on more uh, caravan style shooters on like the PC Engine and like Famicom and stuff like that. Yeah, I would look at stuff like score because it's a simpler level. But you know, you got a bullet hell shooter. It's a lot harder for me to look at something like scoring, you know, unless it's something like Crimson Clover is actually one that I have kind of dove a little bit in on the scoring. But anyway, so for $30, you're getting Raiden 4, same Raiden 4 you know on the 360, but you're getting it on the Switch so you can play it in handheld mode. Uh, I, I do believe you can do screen rotation on this. I, I haven't done it yet, but I did hear someone say that you can do screen rotation on this. And you could use it with a flip grip. The only problem I have with that is that Nintendo never gave us an official Nintendo licensed left Joy-Con with a D-pad. I mean, come on. We can buy like a what, a modded one. They're like a hundred and some dollars. You can buy that Hori one for 20, but it doesn't have the battery. Hey, I use that Hori one. That's what I use. I know there's better options out there. And that Hori one is kind of, it's kind of whack for real. It is. It's not good. Nintendo needs to give us a D-pad on this Switch. It is absolutely insane that we don't have a decent D-pad on the Switch yet. I mean, we got all these games like this, games like this, and then somebody invents the flip grip, and then we can't even use an... I mean, you can use a Joy-Con. I mean, it works, but you don't have a D-pad. So please let me know in the comments, you know, what do you guys use as a, as a substitute for an official Nintendo licensed left Joy-Con with a D-pad? Please let me know because I want a really good option. Right now I'm using one of those $20 Hori pads that, hell, those probably are going for double or triple the amount on the secondhand market now. I don't even think they sell those anymore. I haven't seen them in stores lately. Um, but yeah, please let me know what you guys use for your D-pad, especially if you use a flip grip, because I really, really want to know. But uh, okay, there's another thing, and I know this is an overkill mode. I'm not sure if this is in other versions of this game, but if you get up close to enemy fire, you can graze. And I'm not sure if that affects scoring. I'm sure there's people that can comment about it, but I'm not sure if it affects scoring, but you can hear sounds you know coming from the ship you know you can hear the bullet grazing your ship i think that's really cool um so, but it would i guess it would make sense if grazing affected score i mean that or, or some kind of leveling system that would make sense but i haven't even you know i'm not i haven't dove that deep yet but yeah let me know if you guys have got this game or want this game it's a 30 dollars game so i recommend it anyways guys till next time peace